Hey guys, it's Jordan here, and today I'm going to be sharing my favorite games on Scratch. So here we go. So, so I'll just go through some of the games I like on Scratch. I might have another video on this also. This is just going to be um, a few games that I like, so here we go. The first game is called Star Wars Battlefront. Um, it's like a 2D game. It's really fun. I think it's a lot of fun to play as a stormtrooper. Try to get these traits. Okay, so you just have to go as many as you can. Oh. Okay. Oh. And once you get shot, you will die. You just try to survive as long as you can. Can do this too. Mm. Close range is pretty good. But if you stand really far back, it's really good also. Because if you see a bullet going in there, whatever they're called, um, you can just dodge them really easily. This is actually, I think, the longest I've ever survived. Okay, I'm at 80 points. Okay. How do you even get that high score? You must play that for like all day to get that high score. Oh. So yeah, that's that's um that game. So. <clears throat> This um, version is by um, Hypno447, and yeah, I recommend you um, check that out. It's a really fun game. So the next one is called Lightsaber, and this is a really, really fun game. And so basically, you, know, you can just choose what level, how hard you want to do it. You can do a blaster or a lightsaber. Choose the level you want to do, so this is the easiest level, Padawan. So you have to deflect the bullets in the air. And the music is just so amazing. It's actually pretty addicting. It's a really fun game. Oh! Oh no! Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna make this full screen. Okay. But anyways, the last. Oh, I'm number nine. Oh, I'm number ten in the world. Okay. So I'm just gonna restart that. So for the lightsaber, it goes all the way up to level six. Also with the blaster, but. Look how hard this is. It gets really hard. Oh god. Yeah, I don't even know how that's possible. Oh well, I'm in number 10. Okay. So I'm going to show you what the blaster is like. So you have to shoot the other bullets. It's a bit harder actually. So you have to get right onto it. Well, if you hold it down, it makes a cool nose. Sounds like a machine gun. Oh my god, this is actually really hard. Oh god, I can't even... Just hold it down. I'm just getting tired. So yeah, um, I don't even think you want to see what the last level is like. It's crazy. I can't. <laughs> so yeah, that's a really fun game. This is made by G J J V A N J J Vaughn, I think. J J Vaughn. So if you want to try that game out, go check him out. Okay, so the next one is a really fun game by Griff Patch. He 
he's a really um good scratcher. He makes a lot of awesome games. Um so he made this game called Scratch Napped. It's really good. It has a nice story. Scratch and his cute cloned scratchlings were having an amazing time enjoying all of um the intention afforded to them by the Scratch 2 beta. Poor Uncle Bitmap stood watching from a distance. Pixelated old forgotten. We'll see we'll see about that, grinned Bitmap as he bagged the scratchlings and made for made a run for it. Oh, he took the scratchlings. So I'll just show you one level. Um it's a really good game. It's a really well made platformer. I think it's a lot of fun. I'm still stuck on level four. Okay, so you can break the um hold on, sorry. You can break oh no. You can break these. Oh no, oh yeah, you have you have to be um I thought you could break those. Some of the enemies drop um hearts to give your life spec. Okay, I'm going to go for that coin. So yeah, it has an awesome animation also. The cat probably made that in um, vector mode. It's in the artwork. You can like change a lot of things. You can also like stretch sprites out and stuff. Really creative. Oh. <clears throat> See, I'm like trying to save the scratch limbs. So, yeah. So, that was one level. So, yeah, it's a really, really fun game. Go check out Griff Patch. He has a lot of fun things. Um. And this game is really fun. So, there's another game. Also by Griff Patch called Snail Platformer. It's a lot of fun. It's really, really creative on how this was made. It's a really, really good game, I have to say. So, it's not like your regular platformer. You don't jump, you don't do that. You can, you go on walls, you collect these beads. You have to collect all those to finish a level. You can, it's really, really awesome. So, yep, being a snail is the easy life. Just keep holding down that key. It's not that easy, though, in the, on, like, other levels. So, yeah, I collected all the treats. And then I... So, if you press space, you can, like, stretch out also. So, just try to do that. There we go. Okay. So I can do this one. Wait. Okay. Oh no, it's hard. Okay. I can't reach it. Oh. Oh, you can't reach it. No. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna go up there. Maybe. Oh yeah, if you hold the down button. Now I remember. Okay. So I'll just do this. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Really, really creative. Okay, you just go on this tree. I want to see if I do this. What if I do this? Oh yeah. Oh, I failed. Yay. One more trick. Hold up to reach. Yep. Yep, yeah, so that's Snail Game. Um, that's really awesome. Check out Griff Patch again. 
to see um, the snail platformer game. It's a lot of fun. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and peace out.